The Indian Navy is all set to conduct trials of an indigenous 10 kilowatt directed energy weapon, while a 100 kilowatt weapon is also under development. The latest batch of AK-203 rifles have reached Indian Army's counter-terror units in JNK. Ministry of Defense has approved seven Project 17B stealth frigates for the Indian Navy worth 70,000 crore rupees, future-ready combat vehicles and air defense fire control radar systems. Delhi-based Bhumi Entech is all set to receive more orders for its mobile anti-radiation missile decoy system from the Indian Air Force. Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited has been granted a patent by the Indian Patent Office for its electronic point detonation fuse, which is an advanced detonation mechanism designed to enhance the effectiveness and safety of munitions used by the armed forces. Indio Air has announced the development of its latest E-Vibram advanced electric-powered UAV, that boasts an impressive 60-minute endurance with a day and night camera payload. Indian firm Club First Robotics has unveiled its Cruzna unmanned ground vehicle equipped with anti-tank guided missile launcher. Pune-based Tartman Aerospace is conducting flight tests of its hand-launched and canister-launched loitering munitions. The DRDO has completed all project objectives of the SAMHO multi-purpose laser-guided missile, paving the way for its fielding for user evaluation. The ATGM employs a tandem heat warhead, capable of defeating explosive reactive armor protected moving armored vehicles within a range of 1.5 to 5 km, and apart from main gun of tanks, it can be fired from tripod launchers, and BMP-2 vehicles with suitable modifications. The Indian Navy is gearing up to approach the Defence Acquisition Council for approval to build 10 next-generation destroyers under Project 18, that will feature anti-ballistic missile systems and drone launch capabilities. It will feature 144 vertical launch missile cells, and 8 slant launchers for the BrahMos-2 missile. The finalization of the 13,000-ton destroyer configuration is anticipated by end of this year, with the initiation of construction between 2025 and 2026. The DRDO is all set to carry out the Arrester Barrier Landing Analysis of Swift UCAF Technology Demonstrator. The Arrest a Barrier Landing System is used in order to arrest an aircraft during emergency landing, and in case of aborted takeoff or similar situations. The DRDO has released an expression of interest for the Indian industries, for design and development of case telescope ammunition, in which the projectile is partially or completely enveloped by the propellant, that avoids the risk of damage to the projectile during the loading process. The DRDO has also released an expression of interest for polymer cased ammunition, in which casings are made from synthetic polymer instead of the typical metallic casing, that reduces production cost and ammunition weight. Today's Top 3 Comments